All right, which one is Drew's room? I don't know. Which one is Drew's room? Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. So there's actually space for the bonus episode. That's interesting. All right, let's see. Fire weather update. Arcadia Bay Force Watch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon, 4.51 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Saturday, May 8th, 2010. Culmination State Park fire now 50% contained. Additional road closures. Check local media. All right, let's see what we got here. Elliot Hampton's room. Wonder what he's up to right now. Thou shall not pass. <laughs> Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Yeah, that's dated even for... This is 2010? Holy shit. Hmm. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to senior year anyway. Oh. Let's see, so he's in room 110. Which is where? Okay, let's see, so. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. I wouldn't have made it to see Warren that. Graham. So let's see if... Oh, if Elliot's here. Thanks for the geometry help. I owe you, Justin. Hmm. All right. Hmm, I'm tempted. Like, hey, what are you doing in my room? Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy for him. A biogra biography. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. Dear Elliot, I'm having to inform you that your academic performance and financial aid status have more than met the requirements to receive continued aid. For the upcoming 2010 spring semester, the Prescott Foundation will cover all the educational expenses as well as room and board. Congratulations on your continued academic success, Raymond Wells. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. What is that? Oh, it's the clarinet. It goes doodly doodly debt. Elliot's What's on the computer? Nice. All right. Congratulations, sweetheart. Just got a letter about your scholarship, and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family, and your grandmother just said, of course he did. He's my grandson. Also, your father called again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there. Lucky Dana. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool to me about her, but not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. Warren Graham is such a nerd. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so wrong. I'll grant you Edwin made some awful movies, but he made some even more even awesome terrible movies came out after playing Nine from Outer Space. It's called the worst movie ever made, but have you seen Night of the Lepus? Well, it's a bunch of space zombies compared to giant carnivorous rabbits. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. All right, but let's see. How to tie a tie? Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay. Chloe Elizabeth Price, Chloe Price. Holy shit, but he's got you on there a few times. Uh, the Tempest Quiz, Tempest Tickets, Blackwell Academy. Major Lucas Hampton. Illuminati Eye Meaning, Guards of Hell Book 3. Biography. Yeah, and afterward, Summer Strong at the Broken Places. Why does that make me sad? Because it's pretty depressing. Biography of Ernest Hemingway. How to be an alcoholic and treat women like shit. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. All right. Let's 
see who else we can invade the privacy of. Can't wait to do the show. Break a leg tonight. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. Like while coming, board of trustees would like to formally remind this community that through the legalization of marijuana is currently being considered at the state level, the use of marijuana products remains illegal at both the state and federal levels. Prosecution of marijuana use on visit or possession on Blackwell's campus will be strictly enforced. Brain decay by Nathan Prescott. Nathan is such a creep. This is really gross. Orange, glad I didn't say banana. Good luck at state. Yep. Uh, definitely talk, Drew's room. Need to talk to you, Zach. Wow, that's a surprisingly good Minotaur drawing. What do I do if Drew's here? See, knock. All right. Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Oh, does he share his room with his brother then? If I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. Dear Andrew, it's my great pleasure to award you a full athletic scholarship to play football at Oregon State University. We know that a young man of your skills and character would make a great addition to the OSU franchise of football in the United States has produced NFL talent for ages. For decades, whatever. Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. I guess he's ready for some football. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those sweaty laps. This waiver and release form. Drew North and Michael North. Emergency contact, Anthony Roworth, relationship. Father, I understand there are risks involved with my child's children's participation in black physical education class at Blackwell Academy. I hereby authorize the staff and faculty of Blackwell Academy to follow their best judgment in the case of an emergency and accept any medical expenses incurred. Comic books. Dergeron. Yeah. That fucker's dead. Bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is still awesome. Uh, awesome. Dr. Timebot, the Jurassic Edison. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Oh, wow. <laughs> they look so happy. Oh, wait, yeah, I already saw that. Maybe it's in the pizza box. Nope. <laughs> look in the, the tongue. in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. All right, let's see. Oh, it's probably on the athletic form. Plenty of possible combinations here. Hmm. So if it's not his birthday, then it's probably his, but now it has to be his because, yeah, 4392. Not them, then maybe is. Damn it. Huh. No numbers. Let's see. What about the letter? Oh, maybe it's the. This seems like a long shot, but. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Yeah, that's true. It could be 0516. Oh, five, six, 
16. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Hmm. See, it's on the computer. I didn't even look at that. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Congratulations, live your incredible team says high school football player and student. I am pleased to extend an offer of an official scholarship to you. The University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the Pacific Northwest. We truly feel that you are a student athlete who has the potential to make a powerful impact on both our team and our student body. As head coach, I'm here to assist and support you in your journey to success. The details of this scholarship offer as follows. Let's see. Hello, Chris. Thank you so much for your consideration and a generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I've chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Thank you for your time, Drew. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Hey, bro, do you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets my boy's grill on my watch, but hook me up while you something, something just to take the edge off is all I need. folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Drew, what an amazing game, son. Couldn't believe the third quarter conversion. You've gotten moves, no doubt. I spent all day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know that, but I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type on a fishing boat. Taking me forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on that damn ball, and there's no, nothing that'll stop you. I'm proud of you. Yes, give Mikey a hug for me. I'll be tomorrow afternoon and take him to the clinic. Don't forget. Huh. Hmm. Not really seeing another relevant form here. Maybe, let's see. Let's look at the letter again. Holy shit, Drew. A college no. scholarship? No wonder you're see, August 1st, 2009, so that was last year. Let's look at these Never again. On. Bad guys don't usually... <laughs> awesome. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? I don't know. So 12-12? Possibly. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Hmm. Then let's... Because I thought it might be his brother's birthday. But then... Combinations here. Yeah, it doesn't have the dad's birthday on there. Could be twelve twenty-seven. There we go. This is kind of fun. Ah, did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. All right, and things go wrong in three, two. Hey, Elamon. Oh my what? God. What are you doing here? Oh, ah. Uh. Mm, oh yeah. Where's the option to just run out? Ah, oh, either both of these are bad. Mm. Uh yeah, because if I say Ling for Drew, then it's like, why would I? Why are you Ling for Drew? Um, say no reason. I came. No reason, just <laughs> roam in the halls. Oh my god, in the boys' dorm. Are you wanting to play more tabletop games? Yes. Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough. You want to go another round? 
Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Uh, time to... Relax. Slow down. God. Like, this is bad. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. What's going on? What's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Ah, yeah. uh, that's... Hmm. That a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please! Just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this, kid! No uh, one steals from me! Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck! Mm. Oh, wow, this is bad. Mm. But he works for Damon, right? So it's like, then he gets the money. So it's like, I don't know. Hmm. Because when... See, if I do this, then they'll know. But then... Ah, this is bad either way. Uh... Hmm. Mm, this is bad. Um, shit. Because giving him the money would be the right thing to do. But then, ah. This fucked up. Um. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Chloe would hold on to it when the situation is this bad. So it's. I got no alternative Stop. here. It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Uh, Who the hell are you? Uh, Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait, are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy at the mill? Yeah, that doesn't matter. So, so what? He'll recover. Anyway, I'm here, and I've got the money. Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. We need that! Jeez. Wait. What? 
<sighs> it's all here. <sighs> Mikey, you need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. All right, that went bad either way. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. Hmm. <sighs> 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 Mm. God, I fucking hate this. Oh my god, I regret this decision. I don't know. I was trying to help. I, I was trying to help. Damon wasn't going to stop until he had that money. You think you're some kind of hero? Stepping in for poor Nathan Prescott? And now you're messing with our lives? Uh, Mikey, uh, I gotta look at your arm. Uh, Just leave us alone. What happened to him? Say nothing. Uh, 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 we'll be okay. Like, honestly, I'm kind of surprised, like, that the fact that I took the money from the trunk, from the show, that that wasn't the thing that came up. It was a completely different situation. Like, that was what I thought it was referring back to, but went from the tr preview from last time. they don't seem to care that she's backstage. This day has been so messed up. At least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. Alright, what do we got? Seth, new message. Chloe and Seth, I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey's arm is broken. Drew told me a little bit about what happened. Shit, I didn't know it was that bad. The situation's so fucked up. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Thanks, I will. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. S.G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Wow, shit, I fucked it up for everyone.
Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. Oh wow, I'm supposed to go away with that. All right. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Hey, Franz Ferdinand? Hmm. Let's uh, be nice. All right. Um. Hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. <laughs> Great uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. No. Sorry, gotta go back to my neutral. All right, so let's see. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Oh shit, there's Nate and Daddy. Hey Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Yeah, probably. Why do you suppose that is? I don't look at his fucking show look at this fucking just like you're doing Fox News right critic now. man. Dad, when will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Ah, oh, his dad sucks. That really changes the fact that he's a piece of shit. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Yeah, that's convincing. Remain silent. Ethan. Hello, Divider. R.A. will suck as Prospera. If V.C. had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, Celette? Guess they don't call it drama for nothing. They sure don't. All right, anyway. Samantha seems pretty torn up about what happened between Nathan and his dad. Hey. Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Yeah, you should be careful. Dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. Oh, that's not even thinking. what I was thinking of, but okay. I mean, you should be careful around you him, but whatever. Life. Or did you? <laughs> <laughs> and that was a joke. I know. Nah. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Yeah, it's a Actually, sense of humor. That's that's a that's himself. a way to put it. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic. Oh and fuck off! Fuck right and off. A lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Sure. He needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? I'd want you to stay away from Nathan. You can't help him. He's poison. Okay, but he won't like it. I'd want you to go away and stop bothering me. Chloe. Nathan and I aren't lovable rebels in some terrible 80s movie. We're messed up. 
you shouldn't be trying to help him because you can't and you'll just end up hurt. Like, are we really doing this? Are we really trying to draw it? That's true. Like, false equ- a false equivalence here between yeah. fucking Nathan Prescott, who fucking hung out with a That's pedophile asshole. Really sad. And with Chloe, who's a fucking teenager. Like, for real, are we really doing this? Are we really, really doing this? Boys changing tent. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, uh, okay. David's garden? Or did David? After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. See? Another reason to be thankful for my, uh. Is that Comic Sans? <laughs> You'd think having a jock for a brother would protect you from getting hurt. Man, I hope Mikey's okay. Yeah, that seems like a really, like, the way that that, that events cons- uh, happened, occurred to result in Mikey getting hurt was kind of contrived, honestly. Sports just look so uh, exhausting. This swole-ass Zootopia otter. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or Looks David like Victoria David. has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did uh, Doug dig how David's garden? The human torch was denied a bank loan. Did Doug dig David's garden? Betty bought a bit of butter, but she found the butter bitter. Betty bought a bit Sucks of for butter, Betty. But she... hmm? Betty bought a bit how many yes. of these can do? Let's see. Chloe, clumsily crowded, careful creatives. Ah. Clueless, clumsy, Wait a second. Chloe, clueless, clumsy, Chloe, clumsy, Looks crowded, like Victoria careful. has finally pushed Dana over the edge. All right, what do we got? How's your super long errand going? Yo, crazy shit happened in Drew's room. Like, really bad. Oh, no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Don't worry until the show's over. I'm backstage. Great, on my way. Okay, let's see. Drama teachers always seem so... <sighs> dramatic. Sup, Mr. Keaton? Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department... Oh, my God. Tell me, young lady... Do you still believe true love is a lie? I don't, know. I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> Indeed. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. <laughs> Word. Uh, Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Oh my god, she doesn't say anything. She just turns around and fucking fucks off. That's amazing. Rachel? Well, well, well. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Hey, Chloe. Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped into that drink. How very Princess Bride of you.
Price, you did the right thing. Wait. I just talked to Damon. Good work. You can pick me up tomorrow. Meet me tomorrow and pick up your cut. Your friend's an asshole. What matters is he's happy. Whatever. Price, you did the right thing. Yeah, if you say so. Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. Hmm? Empty. Victoria Chase is actually a pretty talented photographer. Why does that piss me off so much? Look at this Anakin Skywalker motherfucker. Muscle relaxers? Ah. Uh. Hurry now before your tea gets... <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? <sighs> God, you're pathetic. Hmm. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's... Relaxed before the huh? show. <sighs> Whatever. Oh my god. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks? Hold up. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I hear it now. It, it sounds like Mr. Keaton's calling for you. He is? Oh, he probably wants my thoughts on the set dressing. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Oh my god. What's going on? Bitch, dosed your tea. That is... the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? Hmm. It's like I'm tempted to go with the fucking reversal, but... Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm making bad decisions, but fuck it. Let's ask Victoria what she thinks. The direct approach? Kind of my style. I do love your style. Mr. Keaton's busy with Nathan. I'm sure he'll call in my aesthetic sensibility <laughs> soon. In the meantime, oh Victoria. Chloe says you tried to drug me. That true? What? What? Of course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Hmm. Chloe, Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything to sabotage me. Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. <laughs> I wouldn't dare insult Victoria's integrity like that. <laughs> then again, if that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, fine. <laughs> Come on, Vic. Put drop out Chloe in her place once and for all. <laughs> Oh my god. Whoops. Dropped it. Oh, happy? So happy. Ugh, whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way. Bitches. 
<laughs> wow. Saved my ass again. Price. All in a day's work. And this has been a particularly batshit crazy day. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The tower is a tarot, you know? It symbolizes sudden change. I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. Great party, we're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is... You know, this is always the archetype for the fucking the drama teacher. Passing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. But it's always, like, so effective because it always, it's always fucking accurate. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Oh my god. Just imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. <laughs> oh my god. That mile just freaked the fuck out. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. <laughs> no fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> She's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please, for me. Damn it. Oh my god. That's a pretty good costume, though. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I sure am happy to see you right now. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Oh, she's Ariel. In scene two. Oh, that's not too bad. She's only got one scene. That's a really elaborate costume for one scene. Clearly, the show is starting. We got great seats. Where are you? Oh, you'll see. Question mark? Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? Hmm? <laughs> it wouldn't be called a makeup mirror if it wasn't supposed to have makeup all over it. I guess so. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Hmm. Oh yeah, and of course she's the fucking ra there she her costume's got a fucking raven motif. Hmm. That seems apropos. Got it. <laughs> the only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. All right.
By accident most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh, uh, that's I you. I am ready now. Get <laughs> up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. <laughs> no problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. Stand on your mark. Ugh! That killed my eyes! Oh my god! Uh, let's see. All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Oh Most my god. fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Mm, oh god. Oh god, I should have actually looked. Um, I think it's this one. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant. Oh God, I figures I would have to remember this. His reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, oh my God. Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Hell is empty. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty, and all the devils are here. Yes! But are they, Ariel, safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Oh, God, I didn't read anything. Um, let's see. Let's see, to the rock? Nope, I can't interact. How now, capricious friend? Thou art not done. <sighs> oh my god. If thou art tired, thou must needs repose. Yeah, I'm tired. Tired of this play bullshit. I need a breather. Oh my god. Uh, let's see, then I need to walk to the rock backdrop. Shipwreck. I'm definitely supposed to do something. Oh, gotcha. Like okay. This. Oh my god. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In groups? In gr groups. What's Juliet's ETA? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? Um, liberty? My... Liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? Uh, oh, but we're... Thou assured my freedom. Didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly it is so. 
Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. Oh my it's god. Magical. <laughs> then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Hmm. Excitement ages quickly. And I fear if we set out in search of new uh fun, you'll oh my gosh. tire of me. And uh then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Oh my god. Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Of your Was soul, that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, Come I say! On! Uh. Mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. All right. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you... Love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands.
Aren't they all supposed to bow together? Wasn't that fun? You're <laughs> so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs> okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, she has a butterfly tattoo. Interesting. <laughs> oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. In the dead of night, I raised you in my sleep. He was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Like a dream come true, I'll save you where I roam. And fall. told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay. The whole show was good, I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that's hard. Mm. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... Uh, why not? What about money? I thought you were a high-rolling criminal now. <laughs> I collected the money Frank wanted, but... Then I gave it to that asshole, Damon. So, I didn't get a cut like Frank promised. You did what you had to do to keep Drew safe. Still, that whole situation was so... messed up. 
We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Mm. Any more questions? Okay, uh... I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. Oh, hmm. Mm. Yeah, I can't comment on her situation at all. But I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Well, we all know how this works. Yeah, I can. That's hot. <laughs> In other words, we've got transportation covered. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. Milwaukee? <laughs> yeah. I think that's the only choice. New York City. Obviously. 3 a.m., you and me outside some cafe on St. Mark's shoving pizza in our mouths and shouting Broadway songs with 10 people we just met. And this cute guy in horn rim glasses will pass by and see you and slow down. Yeah. Okay. He'll be like, want to split a cab? And I'll be like, back off. She's with me. <laughs> You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Oh, shit. Mm. Do it. How about, um, Oh my god. Oh. oh my god, she's freaking out. That's amazing. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Right? Oh, the ash from the oh, fucking forest fire. I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to. I'm ready. Let's go sneak some and stuff from my house. 
For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Rachel. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Oh my gosh. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Uh, mm. It was, but that was before I was excited. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Okay. Now, it's that girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry. I oh, God. Oh, so we're off to a rocking good start. <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel? Honey? You were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Um, not hungry. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a... Burger a la King kind of gal. Oh my gosh. She's funny, this one. I know, right? No where? Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Mm. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off, then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Nope! <clears throat> totally. Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way. But don't let your guard down. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. Exactly. <laughs> just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, besides literally everything. Oh boy. I heard you you were in the Tempest. Yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show is awesome. You get mails for two good deeds today. Mike is okay. Drew will text you and update in a bit. Oh shit, tell them both I'm pulling for him. Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. <laughs> it's 
like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. All right, time to leave. Bye. Recliner. Nope. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Legal Digest, The Divine Comedy, Withering Heights, Bleak House. Wow, holy shit. Metamorphoses. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Now we just took a picture in front of a backdrop. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I'm oh shit, okay. I gave him the cash. Extortion, distribution, assault, robbery, murder. Oh wow, that guy's his, that guy from the fucking bouncer is his second? Holy shit. Sheldon Pike, Peter Gillespie, Sarah Gearhart. All right. It's like, why you gotta be like Avril Lavigne and make everything so complicated? Got, there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Mikey's okay, though. Congrats to the wonderful cast and crew of The Tempest. So sorry I missed out, guys. Emergency came up. Love you guys. I am so sorry. Why sorry? You didn't control... You don't control the fire, did you? Clay held it down like a champ. Hey, Steph, I am down. I'm Mikey recovering. This isn't the place to discuss. Text if you want to talk. How to clear browser history. Followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like... Cheating asshat 101. Right. Poor Rachel. Arcadia Bay Golf Sale. The Beacon. 40 plus healthy lifestyle. Incognito tab. How to incognito tab. How to clear browser history. Small shops. Nod face. What an asshole. They say all news is local. But damn. Fargo, despite interagency efforts, largest fire in Arcadia history frightens residents and baffles authorities. Uh, I really don't want to talk to Daddy here. The top lay. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but still. Wall art. <gasps> oh! I think that's an original who gives a shit. <laughs> Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. Sure, why not? H how many cabinets do you need? More. Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Those are some cool fucking glasses, actually. Never realized that getting drunk could be so complicated. Can't see. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. It's improve. Mm, yeah, let's do it. Let's improve. Literal. Solved it. Nice. I don't see. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? No, they come out of the closet. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Hey, Price, sorry what I said earlier. You were only trying to help. No way. I, I'm sorry, Drew. I had no idea what to do with that. I was so fucked. It's okay. Mikey's all right. I'm all right. Thank also, he says thanks. Tell him I said hey. Will do. Okay, so I guess that actually turned out slightly better than it should have. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. 
DA James Amber cracks down on drugs. Yeah. Don't tag this whole Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Oh my gosh. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe. Oh, uh, so maybe. I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. Maybe he's involved with her because he's investigating the case. It's hard to say. Hmm. Keep it clean. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? Oh my you god. said if I could. Never mind. Oh my god. That's the fucking You're absolute right, worst. Chloe. Oh my god. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. It's off to the table with you. Oh, they're in her fucking cosmic pocket. I really hope it's not going to force me to fucking talk to him. Chloe, just Williams' mom just called. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. Kind of just happened. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It'd be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe, I miss you. All right. Like, I'm trying to get through this like as painlessly as possible, but something's gonna fucking happen. Yes, Chloe? Okay, what next? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hi, yep, Mr. I figured they were going to force me to talk to him. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see. What's Drink? your vice, Mr. Amber? Oh. Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah. Let's say sherry. Kicking sherry? Okay. Gotcha. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Oh my god. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. Oh my god. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Mm. I'm gonna yeet right out of this conversation. Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Oh god. Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Oh god. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Ah. Uh. Thanks. I love how he just pulls up the fucking thing like, we're done. <laughs> what an asshole. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? <laughs> Kidding. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. 
Sure he's not a murderer because she's getting fucking killed out here. Holy shit. Uh, it's the triangle shape one. Basic <coughs> shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. So which ones? If they're a traditional family, then his setting is probably up here. Yep. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. Wow, holy oh, shit. Lady, that's cool. I've got my own. Oh my god. Oh. You oh my never god. know when you'll <coughs> to light a candle. Right? Hmm? You are a paragon of preparedness. Oh my Thanks. god. I, I think. Time to light some candles and bless this joint up a bit. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Right? It's a good thing this house isn't made of wood. Wow, they're eating. Well, I guess nine. Yeah, nine is pretty late. So, Chloe. No, wait, it's like 11 o'clock. Holy shit. In any of the same classes? Um, oh god, um... I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. <laughs> what about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank oh my you, god. Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast... I've never heard of anything. Just calm like down. It. No one knows you did it. <laughs> hmm. It's. Uh, it's almost surreal. They say a fire like that could only come from a crime of passion. Oh my god. Passion. What does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my fucking god. Are you serious? For real? You're the DA, of course. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important. Mm. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Oh, God. Yep, don't do it. Just get through dinner. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. Oh my god. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Okay. Rachel? Distract. Cover. Uh, crap. I I'm so close. <laughs> Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. 
Chloe. Okay. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit. All Rachel. right. Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. All right. Okay, you're we're doing it. Cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Oh, my. Rachel? God. Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Okay, yeah, this is almost definitely something involving his job at the DA. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken... Wow. Home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak. Oh, God. No, Rachel, don't fucking do it. She's gonna burn her fucking ass down. <sighs> what the fuck? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. The other woman is my mistress. That was your mother. What? Oh shit, okay. <laughs> finish line and if you're still breathing you're the lucky ones cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs setting fire to our insides for fun collecting names of the lovers that went wrong the lovers that went wrong Well, that was fucking wild. 
Okay, so yeah, that's that's episode two. So yeah, I gotta say that's so far it feels like they're really continuing the strong momentum from episode one. Um, well, I guess there's only one more episode left aside from the bonus episode, which I don't I think is gonna be disconnected from the main plot here. But yeah, I'm just I'm really curious what fucking happened because obviously when we actually see Chloe again like five years later like everything's very different there I'm sorry. I just I don't have, I don't know what to say because it's like I'm really curious to see what's gonna go on here. So obviously, part three is gonna be Rachel trying to figure out what the deal is with her mom, like with her birth mother. Like it's really interesting how these stories are all kind of dovetailing. It definitely feels like this is like I think that the. Obviously, I think that it improved, like, the writing has improved significantly because it's in a Western, it's in, it's with an American team now for this game. Uh, it feels a lot more focused, like, in general. And because of the shorter, like, upset, like, the shorter length of this, of this miniseries and the shorter time in between them, it seems like they're all pretty much done for the most part. So... Yeah, I mean, like, it feels a lot tighter overall, and I think that really has helped. That has definitely improved on the, shown positively on the game. Because, yeah, I mean, that was the problem with the original Life is Strange, is that it was, like, it introduced a lot of different plot threads, and some of the, and it was hard to tell what was actually going to go somewhere, and because of the way they were writing it at the time, uh, like it kind of felt like they didn't necessarily know either. So then we ended up with a kind of an unsatisfying conclusion that blew off a lot of the different elements that went on there. So yeah, I'm definitely curious to see how this wraps up. Which, I mean, if this continues the pace, it should be wrapped up by fucking next month. By November, I should say. Like that's fucking hilarious because of course it's like if it wasn't me if it wasn't Chloe who lost her shit then of course it would have been Rachel. This does raise the question of what that what, what her mom is doing here. Like, is she trying to see her or like what? Because she's probably not actually trying to see her because she's made no apparent effort to try and get close to Rachel. But again, there's a lot that's not clear there.
All right. So yeah, most of us took the blame. Most people took the blame for Rachel's. Oh, most people emptied their pockets for David. Most people stayed with Mikey. Most people kissed Rachel. The bracelet would have been a good idea, though. Okay, let's see. Next. Okay, let's see. You intended to go over the play with Elliot. To go to the play with Elliot. You didn't talk to Elliot about the play. You refused to start over. Which makes sense. Seeing man on the dashboard of the truck. Hell yeah. You didn't pay off your debt to Frank. What are you talking about? I did pay off the debt to Frank. Like I did that last episode. Fuck off. You didn't tell Seth that Rachel was single. You didn't return Drew's money to him. You told Samantha to avoid Nathan. You didn't give Samantha advice, okay. You confronted Victoria before the play. You told Rachel you'd like to go to New York. Like, come on, just road trip, she just straight up drops to New York. Come on. Rachel attacked James at dinner. You attacked James at dinner. Alright, so let's see. Alright. See, it's preview is Shit. the singer. Shit! All right, that's nothing. Fuck. All right, Chloe's story continues in the next episode. Buy more episodes now. All right, so yep, that's it. Okay, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.